All right, Jason here from Septic, oh, almost got it right there. Jason here from Septic Tank TV. Yes, we're live. And if you're wondering what this is behind me, this is very, very important. So if you're a septic tank owner, then you need one of these. I'm just going to cut straight to the chase. This is no sales pitch. I don't want your money. I don't want anything off you. I'm trying to help you, right? If you're a septic tank owner, you need a government compliance form. Let me explain why you need one, because everything's changing on the 1st of January 2020. And this form has helped tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of people make their septic tank legal and compliant, right, just by filling this form in. So let me explain what's happening here, right, because there's many people out there that just are burying their head in the sand about this. And that's fine. That's up to you. If you don't want to listen to this live broadcast, if you don't want to do anything about it, that's fine, right? So let me just right, show you a couple of things here. Now, where's my board rubber? Well, you can tell it's live because I had one a minute ago and now it's just disappeared. Okay, so just bear with me a minute. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll have, I'll just use my hand, okay? How's that? How's that for live? Okay. So basically, right, on the in, on the 1st of Jan 2020, 1st of Jan 2020, all the rules and regulations, can you see that on there, are changing for septic tank owners. And what does that mean? Well, it basically means that every septic tank in the UK will now have to conform to new rules and regulations. And these are called retrospective planning approval so basically it means the council will come around to your house if you've got a septic tank and they will demand information off you right they want to know um what system you've got in how big your tank is the capacity of it what it's made from how the age of it where it's located all stuff like this right and dependent on your answers will depend on whether they then decide to take it further if they take it further then they will do a site inspection okay that means they'll send someone around that you've got to pay for. You'll have to pay 450 quid. Someone will come around and do a site inspection. They'll look at your septic tank, right? And they'll either pass. So let's put this down now, okay? So they will either pass. Your septic tank will either pass or it will fail, right? It's been estimated that 90% of all septic tanks that are inspected will fail. Septic tanks that were installed prior to the 1st of January 2015. All right, so that's a bit of background, okay? So basically, this form here is designed to help you. How will it help you? Well, it's called a government compliance form, okay? So basically, you go to my website, you can go on Septic Tank TV, you can type that in there, or you can go to my website, right? septictank.co.uk top left hand corner get this for free download as many copies as you want put one in your utility room lodge one with your solicitor so there's 10 questions on there that this form will help you with that question number one the sewage system you've got i've got installed at my property is a what have you got have you got a cesspool have you got a septic tank have you got a sewage treatment plant whatever you've got put that down there where is the sewage system located so where is your septic tank or your cesspool or your sewage treatment plant? Is it in your front garden, your back garden, your side garden? Is it in your neighbor's garden? Is it in a field somewhere? Wherever it is, fill it in and put it down, right? The sewage system has a capacity of how many liters has your sewage system? Can it hold? Um, if you're not sure, just go and check your septic tank emptying receipts. The sewage system that you've got is constructed out of what? What's it made from? Is it made from fiberglass, from plastic from breeze blocks from bricks and mortar from concrete whatever it is put the answer down so you get the point don't you right so there's 10 questions on there you need to fill it in once you've filled them in to sign it and date it right as i said put one in your utility room or your kitchen and one to your solicitor and basically what happens is this when the government inspectors come around, they'll say, right, we uh, believe you've got uh, an off-main sewage system. We'd like to know a bit about it, please. OK, so they'll say, um, what system have you got? What can you tell us about your system? And you'll think, oh, hold on a minute. That guy from Septic Tank TV, 
he told me to get one of these. And yes, I did tell you to get one of those. Then you'll walk and you'll get it and you'll hand it to him. He'll then look at it. He'll say, okay, the sewage system you've got installed at your property is a, is a wow, okay. Yeah, that's where it's located. That's the capacity of it. That's what it's made from. That's the age of it. That's how you maintain it. That's how often you have, oh, brilliant. A responsible septic tank owner. I've just saved you 450 quid. Why? Because you've told him everything that he needs to know. Job done. He'll hand you that. He'll tick his little boxes. He'll then go on to your neighbor. So this form, if you're a septic tank owner and you want to make your septic tank legal before the 1st of Jan 2020, then go to my website for free. This is all free. I don't want your card details. I don't want a penny off you, right? Go and download yourself a free government compliance form go on to google type in government compliance form for septic tanks or just type in government compliance form. get the form download it print it off fill it in it will save you hundreds and hundreds of pounds it will also save you having to relocate or replace your septic tank and soak away so that's my tip for the day don't dilly dally don't delay go and get yourself a free government compliance form today so listen thank you very much for watching about this sorry if it's a bit intense but i'm just trying to help people and in england we tend to leave things to the last minute you know to the last knockings well it's no good in this instance when the last knockings come they will literally come knocking on your door so look if you want more free information free help free advice just go to septic tank tv there you find loads of other free videos like this which will really help you but thanks for watching this broadcast take care and i'll speak to you again soon